Canada has a unique place in the democratic world as a sparsely populated country rich in natural resources that can produce and export critical commodities, especially natural gas, but also potash and other commodities that the democratic world needs in order to be secure. Now, sadly, we are living in the wake of seven years of failed energy policy under this Liberal government, that we haven't seen not only the economic opportunities associated with our natural resource sectors, but the critical role that those sectors can play in contributing to global security. We could have and should have been doing so much more to develop and prepare to export our natural gas to help our friends in Europe and also the Asia Pacific uh, be, be energy secure and not have to be reliant on authoritarian countries such as Russia. And by failing to live up to Canada's responsibility as part of the community of democratic nations, we've left our allies vulnerable to the kind of pressure that we've seen from Russia. Russia is funding their war in Ukraine through the export of their natural resources. And Canada could be displacing and replacing that energy. Now, we're seven years behind, but it's time now for Canada to recognize the mistake and to step up and take up its responsibilities. To support Ukraine, yes, through sanctions, yes, through weapons, but also through playing that critical role of developing and exporting vital energy resources. But the approach of this government, rather than recognizing the potential, the opportunity and the responsibility that Canada has in the community of democratic nations, it's actually been to grant a waiver to sanctions to facilitate the export of Russian gas through a Russian turbine. Mr. Speaker, why are we allowing exemptions to our sanctions, as one witness told the Foreign Affairs Committee, allowing our sanctions to be like Swiss cheese instead of instead of standing firm on those sanctions, preventing Russian energy from being exported and offering our European friends with alternatives. 